Hello, hello. Hola, teacher. Hello. Sir, yes, sir. Welcome. <laughs> you are the early bear, right, Manuel Eduardo? Yes. Pájaro madrugador, we say, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Oh, yes, it's, it's time, yes. Uh, Manuel Eduardo, you are a co-worker of, of Enrique, no? Sí. Yes. Okay, yesterday he, he sent a, a, a picture, right? Nos mandó una foto al grupo, right? That he was about to be out of the hospital, que casi salía del hospital. Eh, Ustedes... Sí, la verdad, el estado de él. No, no tiene información. Uh -huh. No, tuve un accidente de tránsito. Hace oh. un mes y medio. Uh -huh. Y no, no, no. No ha ido no, al trabajo. No, nada. no. Ah, ok, understand. Okay. O sea, usted no, no ha estado yendo a su trabajo tampoco. Ah, ok. Sorry, but, but no. you're ok now. <ríe> Pero ahora está bien. Manuel. Esa es la clavícula. Sorry. Clavícula. Yes. Sí. Ha sido mal, pues. No, no, no he estado activo en el De nuevo. Okay, sorry, but in, for the English class, no problem, right, Manuel? <laughs> okay. Good. And uh, anybody in the group, man, uh, Manuel? ¿Hay alguien más en el grupo que sepa de, de, de Enrique? No. Él sí. Él sí. Le oigo cortado. Eh, Manuel, le oigo cortado. Sorry. I cannot. Hola. Eh, Ajá. Para Andrés Hernández eh, está en el trabajo, solo que no ah, sé si... No. Okay, so I will ask later. To, I will ask later to Oscar, right? No problem. Good. Okay. That's it, right? Now let's start with the class. Welcome everybody. Welcome again, Cristina, Jennifer, Esaú, right? Jorge, welcome everybody. Cristina, are you are you better now? Ya está mejorcita, Cristina. Sí, ya está okay. mejor, gracias a Dios. Okay, very good. Nice, nice. I'm yes. happy to know that, right? I am happy to know that. Okay, uh, today we're going to start with a new unit, right? With a new unit. And yesterday I was checking the, the, the work in the platform, right? And if you want, I can, I will mention the students who complete the... Good evening, guys. Hey, hello. Hello, Carlos Enrique. Welcome. I will I will give you the grade sure. for all the students. Hello. The students who have 10, right? And los chicos que se han sacado 10, los voy a leer, right? Al menos hasta ayer en la noche. So I was checking. Okay. Eh, Cristina. Esaú. Jill. Eh, Giovanni. Eh, Jennifer Beatriz. Jennifer. Jorge, eh, Enrique, eh, Luis Alejandro, Manuel Eduardo, Oscar Andrés, and Carlos Enrique, right? All of you have 10. <laughs> Hello. Ahí tenemos siempre el invitado de honor, ¿verdad? Eh, Beatriz, remind me the name of the, of the prince. Me recuerda el nombre del príncipe ahí. His name is Andrés. Ah, André, yes, and I remember, right? Hey, André, hello, André, how are you? Hey, boy, hey, boy, what's up, boy? Hey, bye-bye. <laughs> okay, ahora sí está un poquito así como extrañado. <laughs> okay, André, welcome to the class, André. Good, so... Eh, all of you, the, the name that I mentioned, uh, you have 10, right? Todos los chicos que mencioné tienen 10. Ahora no sé si ahora los que no he mencionado, pues practicaron en la tarde. But, but it's important, please. Uh, this unit one was really easy, right? Uh, estos ejercicios en la plataforma estaban fáciles, pero hay que dedicarles tiempo, ¿no? Entonces, 
Por favorcito, a los chicos que no mencioné, algunos tienen 80, quiere decir que solo una actividad le falta. Y hay poquitos que no han trabajado, ¿verdad? Pero por favor les suplico que, que a medida que vayamos trabajando en la clase, pues también vayan completando los, las tareas en, 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 en la plataforma, porque después se les van a, se les van a amontonar todas y ya van a querer un fin de semana hacerlas toditas, ¿verdad? Ya les va a costar mucho. Entonces, eh, mejor vamos desarrollándolas, ¿verdad? Una unidad terminada, pues, terminar todas las actividades, ¿verdad? Y si hay alguna duda, pues, ahí estoy a sus órdenes. Tanto en esta clase como en el grupo de WhatsApp. Estamos a sus órdenes totales. Si hay alguna duda, pregunta, pues, ahí estamos, ¿ok? Good. Now let's start with the class. Uh, okay, let me see here, right? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today is class number six, right? We're moving very fast. La clase número seis ya, siento que acabamos de comenzar y llevamos por la clase seis, que rápido. <laughs> okay. It, I, I will tell you why, because I really enjoyed this class. De, déjenme decirles que disfruto mucho esta clase con ustedes. Ustedes es un grupo muy animoso, muy feliz. Y eso me gusta mucho, ¿verdad? Muy participativo, right? A excepción de Carlos Enrique, que no, no parta. Ah, no. Son bromas, Carlos. Okay. No, la verdad es que eh, eh, me pasa algo bien, bien, bien peculiar. Eh, no me da sueño en las dos horas y no la siento, no sé mis compañeros, ah. ¿verdad? Pero eso indica de que es muy interesante. Ha un gran... muy eso indica que se ha hecho una... Carlos Enrique, eso indica que se ha tomado un perol así de, de café. <risa> no, no, para nada, para nada. Ok. Soy bueno, café, but... pero de noche sí no, no tomo café. Ok, so, but I say you make the, the class, right? You the students make the class. Y pues ahí estamos eh, esperando que que Enrique haya salido bien ayer, ¿verdad? Y también, pues, ahí nos está comunicando Manuel, que también él está un poco eh, retirado del trabajo por un accidente, ¿verdad? Pero es que en las motos, ah, déjeme decir, yo fui motociclista sí. también. Un montón de veces que me caí, ¿verdad? Es que es bien fácil caerse de la moto. <risa> ok, sí. estoy hablando literalmente, no estoy hablando de que un hermano lo bote a uno, sino que... <risa> Okay, let's begin, right? Uh, how to use frequency adverbs? Frequency adverbs. Frequency adverbs are used in the simple present, right? Okay. Now, the objective, please. Uh, Beatriz, can you read the objective for tonight, please? Adverbs. Unit two, ongoing activities at the workplace. I will be able to say how frequently I do an activity in the workplace. Okidoki. Now, a question, right? How often do you check your email at work? Volunteers, what is the frequency that you have when you check your email? Uh -huh. Jennifer, Beatriz, Beatriz. At my work, I, I check my email all day. All day. So you're receiving, reading, and sending messages all the day, right? Yes. Okay, complicated, but yes, this is the job, right? We have to do it, right, Beatrice? Yeah, okay. Good. Anybody else? Volunteers? How often do you check your email? Once a day? You might One. check. Uh-huh, uh -huh, Manuel. Every day. Every day too, right? Okay, yes. nice. Nice. It's necessary, right, Manuel? It's necessary. Okay, good. Now, next question. How often do you, do you attend? Attend is assisted, right? How often do you attend meetings in your job? How often do you attend meetings? Every day, every Monday, and sometimes Monday. on Mondays. Who is this? Yes. Esaú. 
Ah, es Saúl, right? No. No, no, no. no. Manuel. Manuel, Manuel, ok. Good. Every Monday. Anybody else? You don't have meetings with your with your manager or with the with the employees? No. Okay. Well, in my case, I have virtual uh, in English corporativo. I have virtual meetings sometimes, right? You know. And in Mined, because I work in the morning with Mined, uh, I have meetings every month. Yeah, every month. Okay. Good. Now let's continue. Uh, we are going to practice, you know, with a conversation. And uh, we're going to use this vocabulary often. Often means frequently, many times, right? For example, in the case of Beatrice, she often checks her email. Or she frequently checks her, her email. Or she checks her email many times, right? That is the meaning of often. Order. Order is an internal document that is created by a business to confirm a purchase, right? Compra, compra, purchase. So, uh, let's say, for example, Pizza Hut, right? Pizza La Chosa, Pizza La Cabaña, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut receive an order, so... And they have the paper. You know, they have the paper uh, here, the paper, right? In the paper, it, ha it says the customer, right? The customer wants five pizzas, <laughs> right? So the paper, the order, this paper is confirming, right? The purchase, the buying of the pizza, right? So that is an order in, in a especially when you your business is related with when you have customer right believe believe is accept something as true for example i believe that alianza is the best team in el salvador right albos i believe that i believe in el cpt <laughs> no no i don't believe in cpt uh, is accept something as true right Okay, listen, I am happy because nobody says anything against Alianza. So, in, or, in other words, everybody in this class is, is Aliancista. Congratulations, Albos. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now, let's go to the conversation, right? Listen, John says, how often do you check your email? And Ann says, every two hours. Something similar to, to, to Beatriz, right? And you? And John says, well, I try to check it as often as I can. Tan frecuente como, como yo puedo, right? And how often do you call your clients? And says, I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. I always call them first thing in the morning. Okay, lo primero que hago en la mañana. It's the first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. And I says, uh, you are right. You are right. You have the reason, right? You are right. Good. Now, listen again and repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. How often do you check your email? Often? Check. Email. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. 
as often as I can. I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? Open. Call. Clients. 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 And how often do you call your clients? I often call them. I often call them once a week. I often call them once a week on Monday. Often call them Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Do you call clients? Yes. I always call them. I always call them first thing in the morning. Always call them first thing. Th 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 thing, thing. Thank you, thank you. Thing, thing. First thing. I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it, it's important. I believe it is important to have contact. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Them. Time. Them. Time. Don't say time. Time. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. You are right. Good. Now we're going to make a, a special practice tonight. Right? And of course, I will need volunteers. But before to go to this, uh, okay, give me a second. I will uh, take the attendance, please. Just give me a second here. I have a lot of papers here, yeah, right? Okay, Carlos, Cindy, yes, thank you, Cindy, Christy, present, Joshua, 
Joshua, Esaú, Present teacher. Elizabeth, Jill, Thank you. Giovanni. Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Jennifer. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Jorge. Now, Enrique. Bueno, espero que haya seguido mejor, Enrique. Eduardo. Juan Eduardo Flores. Alejandro. Luis Alejandro. Manuel. Manuel. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Mario. Mario. Andrés. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Andrés. Eh, ¿Qué supo de Enrique? Hello, hello. ¿Qué supo de Enrique? ¿Lo, ¿Le dieron el alta? Uh, sí, le dieron el alta, solo que este eh, tenía incapacidad, creo, pero se presentó igual hoy al trabajo, solo que un rato, hasta como el mediodía, once, por ahí, uh -huh. y luego se fue. Ok. Bueno. Ajá, entonces creo que está ahorita como que siempre en observación. Ah, ok. Muy bien. Era un, tema, era un tema bastante delicado, era como de como cardíaco, algo así. Ah, bueno. Uh -huh. Bueno, entonces lo vamos a esperar hasta que se recupere, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, ahí este, yo solicito permiso por él porque sí está enfermito ahorita. Ok. Very good. Probemos a Dios que okay, pues very mejor, good. ¿verdad? Ok, thank you. Now, eh, Oscar. Oscar Daniel. Ok, thank you, Oscar. Víctor. Thank you. Carlos Enrique. Thank you very much. Ok, give me a second here. Yeah, right. Okay, now let's practice with this conversation. We're going to start with, uh, according to the list, Cindy, please. Cindy, listen and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. Ready? Okay. Okay. Uh, just give me a second here. Okay. How often... Okay. Do you check your email? Do you check your email? Every two hours. Every two hours. And you? And you? Well. Well. I try to check it. I try to check. Check it. Check it. As often as I can. As often as I can. Okay. As often as I can. As often as I can. As I can. And how often? And how often? Do you call your clients? Do you call your clients? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, uh, help me, please. Uh, Cristina. Repeat after me, Cristina. Ready? Okay. Ready? Okay. I often... I often... I often call them... Holding once a week. Once a week. On a Monday. Week. On Monday. On Monday. 
I often call them once a week on Monday. Repeat. Mm, perdón. I often call them once a week on Monday. I walk often one once a week on Monday. Once a week on once a week on, once a week on, on Monday. Monday. But I usually call them. But I use. I usually call them. I use. I usually call them, do, call them uh -huh, on Friday. On Friday. To check their order. To check their order. Do you call clients? Do you call clients? Yes. Yes. I always call them. I will. I always Please call them. I always call them. I always call them. First thing in the morning. Four in the morning. I believe. I believe. It is important. It is important. To have contact with them. Do you have contact with them? With them all the time. All the time. You are right. You are right. Okay, thank you very much. It was difficult, right? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Cindy and Christy, thank you very much. Okay, next student. Um let me see. Who is present tonight? Esau. Ready, Esau? You will help me with the first part, right? Repeat after me, right. Esau. Repeat after me. How often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Every two hours. And you? Well... Well, well, I try to check it. I try to check it as often as I can. As often as I can. And how often do you call your client? And how often do you call client? Okay, thank you very much. Now, after Esau, I have Elisa. No, Elisa is not here. Uh, Jill. Hello, Jill. Ready to repeat, Jill? Jill, are you there? Maybe she has problem with the audio right now. Uh, let me see. After Jill, I have... Uh, Beatriz, please. Ready, Beatriz? Repeat after me, Beatriz. I often... Okay. okay, I often call them... I often call them... Once a week on Monday. Once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday. But I usually call them on Friday. To check their order... To check their order do you call clients do you call clients yes yes i always call them i always call them first thing in the morning first thing in the morning i believe it is important i believe it is important to have contact with them all the time to have contact with them all the time. You are right. You are right. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Clap for all the participants for Doodly, courtesy of Doodly. 
Okay. Very good. Now, everybody, repeat after me, please. Everybody, repeat after me. Again, how often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. I always call them first thing in the morning. Teacher, buenas noches. Hello, hello. Giovanni. How are you, Giovanni? Yes, I will take the tennis. Permítame, Giovanni. Le vamos a tomar asistencia antes que nada. ¿Todo bien? Eh, sí, teacher, solo que eh, no he llegado a la casa, pero me logré mm. conectar. Entonces le comunico para que si, si me nombren algo y no le conteste porque voy en camino y no, no okay. alcanzo a escuchar muy bien. No problem. Aquí lo vamos a poner como oyente, oiga. Ok, thank you, teacher. Pero, pero no va manejando, ¿eh, Giovanni? No, no, no. Ah, okay, por cool. eso me... Ajá, okay. ya no voy a ir a chocar por <ríe> ok, thank no, you no, no. ahí me avisa cuando llegue Bye. ok, thank you, thank you ok, continue continue, please I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time you are right ok, class This is it, right? Now, uh, I will have uh, Jennifer, please. Jennifer and Jorge. Jennifer, you are young. And, and, and Jorge, you are... No, no, no. Uh, Jorge, you are John. <laughs> yes. And, and Jennifer is uh, Anne, right? Ready? Okay, give me a second. Please. Give me a second. Wait. Ladies and gentlemen, action. How often do you check your email? Every two hours I do. Well, I need to check it how often I count. Um, Uh, how often do you call your clients? Clients. I often call three of a weekend or Monday, but usually call three of Friday. 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 Mm -hmm. To share three, or do you call clients? Yes, I call them. But right in the morning, I believe it is important to have contact with them all the, all the time. Jennifer? You are, you you are, are right. right. You are right. You are right. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Jennifer, we're going to try to, to use the poll, right? Uh, y vamos a dejar un poquito el, el, el nerviosismo, ¿verdad? Tranquila, aquí todos estamos aprendiendo, sí. Okay. Uh, but I need you, you make the poll, right? Pero necesito que me haga, me haga la pausa, la próxima. This, I often call them once a week on Monday. Then, y nos paramos, luego. 
but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Otro punto y nos paramos. Luego seguimos. Do you call clients? Okay. Good. Thank you very much for your participation. Here I have Dudley again for Jorge and Jennifer. Thank you. Okay. Thank Good. You. Thank you. Good. Now, two more students. Let me see. Uh, well, I have Emmanuel and Andres, right? Manuel, you're going to be John, and Andres, you're going to be Anne. Ready? One, two, three, action. How often do you check your emails? Every two hours, and you? Well, I need to check if I, if I can. And how else do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe is important to have contact with them at that time. You are right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Andres. And thank you very much. We have, um, oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot the, the name for a moment, right? Okay, um, so I will have the last participation. So, uh, Andres Emanuel, right? Uh, is Mario with us? Mario? No, right? Okay, good. So, Oscar and Victor to finish, right? Oscar, you're going to be John, and Victor, you're going to be Anne, right? Ready? How often? Amen. Victor? Okay. So I have Oscar, right? So, and then we're going to have Carlos Enrique. So, Carlos Enrique, can you help me, please, with Anne? Great teacher. Please. And, okay, again, so the Oscar, you begin, and you're, you're John, and then Oscar, Carlos Enrique is going to be Anne, right? Okay, Oscar? Okay. One, one two, three. Ready. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I prefer to cheat as often as I can. And how often do, do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call, do you call clients? Yes, I I work I work every mm. in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Very good, and you are right. Uh, Victor and Carlos Enrique, thank you very much for your cooperation, right, for your help. Now, I have this question. How often does Anne check her email? How often? Every two hours. Every two hours. So 
She's checking the email. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, any extra question? Any extra question for this conversation? Okay. If no question, let's continue, right? Let's... Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce the frequency adverbs. What is the structure? The subject, I, she, he, they, we, and you. The frequency adverb, always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, never. The verb, wash, cleans, does, take out, go, does. Does, right? And then the component, right? Does. Eh, uh, limpiar el polvo, quiere decir, limpiar el polvo, right? Dust. Remember the song, dust in the wind. All we are is dust in the wind. Okay, dust. Polvo, right? We're not changing. We're not changing. I know. That was Kansas. <laughs> yeah. Me. No, my, my singing is really bad. My singing is terrible, Carlos Enrique. So I understand. <laughs> no, we don't change. Okay. No, but dust is polvo, right? So the sun is polvo en el viento. Dust in the wind. Dust in the wind. All they are is dust in the wind. Okay, now. Repeat after me, please. I always wash the dishes. She usually cleans the house. He often does the laundry. They sometimes take out the garbage. We rarely go shopping. Rarely? Sure. Go shopping. Yes, questions? Sí, okay. Yes. Eh, ¿Cómo pronunció la, la, eh, the garba, garbage? Gar, garbage. 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 Uh -huh. Correct. Ah, okay. Garbage. 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 La basura, right? Garbage. Mm -hmm. Okay, garbage. Good. Now, everybody, you never dust. Take out garbage. Rarely, rarely, rarely. Okay. Okay. Um, tengo un mensaje en el grupo. Regálame un segundito. Okay, um, permítame. Eh, es alguien que no ha asistido a clases, ¿verdad? Es, creo que es Elizabeth. Eh, parece ser que un familiar falleció, ¿verdad? Um, sí, porque aquí es Elisi. Entiendo yo que es Elizabeth, ¿verdad? No sé cómo les aparece a usted. Ella es. Sí, ¿verdad? Elisa, sí. Lo siento mucho. Ah, y gracias a ustedes por darle muestras de condolencia, ¿verdad? Gracias, gracias por el apoyarlo, ¿verdad? Porque podemos, no nos ha ido bien, ¿verdad? Tenemos aquí el accidente de Manuel, el problema de salud de, de Enrique y pues ahora un familiar de, de Elisa, pues lamentablemente ha fallecido, ¿verdad? Pero. Bueno, sigamos nosotros porque la vida es así, ¿verdad? A veces no todas las cosas salen como uno quisiera, ¿verdad? Y cada quien, pues, sufre cosas tremendas a veces en la vida, ¿no? Así que hay que siempre confiar en Diosito, ¿verdad? Para que nos proteja de todo. Ok, good. Now, class, listen. Here we have the subject, 
and the verb, right? Normally in the simple present, we have subject and verb, right? But in this occasion, we have what we call frequency adverb. And what is a frequency adverb? A frequency adverb is the one that show me how often the action takes place, right? El adverbio frecuencia el que me dice con qué frecuencia hago la acción, con qué frecuencia lavo, saco la basura, limpio el polvo, okay? So that is the use of frequency adverb to show the frequency of one action. And look at the position of the frequency adverb. Is between the subject and the verb. In the middle, we have the frequency adverb, right? Okay. Now, look at this. Always is all the time. In the case of the teacher, I always have breakfast. You mean you mean the morning, right? All the time. Because if not, I am hungry in the morning, right? I need the, the breakfast. I always breathe. Breathe, breathe. I always, all the time. If I stop breathing, oh, okay, so I die. So for that reason, is all the time. Usually, I usually, I usually what? I usually play football, right? Often. So if always is 100%, usually it's like about 90%. And often is like, I don't know, 70%, 60%, right? And then sometimes it's like 50% or 40%, right? Then rarely is like 10%, 10%, right? 10%. And never is 0%. I never eat pacaya, for example. I never eat pacaya. So, this is zero percent. Okay? And we have the uh, the place where you put the frequency of it. says before the verb. Look, before, antes del verbo. I always run. Run, Forrest, run. So, I always run. Good. Questions? Questions, class? About the frequency adverbs? ¿Qué significa sometimes? Algunas veces. Sometimes. Algunas veces. Siempre, usualmente. Siempre, usualmente. Frecuentemente. Algunas veces. Algunas veces. Raramente. Raramente. Never. Nunca, right? Nunca. Never. Yeah, thank you. Welcome. You're welcome. Any other question? Teacher. Ah, uh -huh, Saúl. Serían solo esos adverbs? No, we have more. So we have more. I want to. <laughs> but these are the most common. These are the most common, right? We have almost always, seldom, almost never. Uh, occasionally, <laughs> etc. There are more. I como unos, no sé, como unos 15 or 20. <laughs> there are a lot, right? But these are the most common, right? Okay. More questions? No. Okay. So let's continue, right? Now, besides the frequency adverb, we have other expressions to show frequency. Además de los adverbios de frequency, también hay otras expresiones que que indican frecuencia. Solo que estas van al final de la oración. They go to the end. You say, I exercise every day. You listen to music once a day, una vez al día, right? I play football twice a week, dos veces a la semana. En el caso del teacher, solo una vez, porque ya no me da. <laughs> solo una vez, ¿no? Once a week. But, but here it says, I play football twice a week. She goes out for dinner three times a month. She goes dancing. She goes dancing on Saturdays. She takes a nap. <sighs> Fiesta, right? She takes a nap once a day. My sister reads once a month. I go to the movies every Sunday. I visit friends every week. You no, know, cada fin de semana. 
voy donde los cheros. Busy friend, right? Okay. Good. I have a question here. Let me see. Uh, good. So Eduardo is ready for the class. <laughs> okay. He finished the semita. <laughs> okay. Now. Write C if the sentence is correct. Write I if the sentence is not correct. Right? So let's make this exercise. Vamos a hacer este ejercicio juntos. Okay. He checks never email in the email. Okay. First thing, right? Lo primero que dijimos es que el adverbio va antes del verbo, right? So the first thing you have to do is to identify the verb. Esaú, what is the verb here? What is the verb? Checks. Checks. Checks is the action. Checks is the verb, right? And it says that the the frequency advert goes before the verb, antes del verb, right? Uh, Andres, what is the frequency advert we're using here? ¿Cuál es el verbo de frecuencia que estamos usando acá? Sorry, repeat. Andres? Never. Never, right? Never. Okay, so the frequency advert goes before the verb in this sentence, yes or no? No, right? For that reason, the sentence is incorrect. So you copy I, right? Incorrect. Yes. So what is the correct one? He never. He never checks. He never checks a email in the evening, right? Okay, next one, please. We, we rarely, rarely is that frequency other, right? We rarely visit friends on weekends. Yes, correct. It's correct, right? Yes. So yes. let's copy the letter C for correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one, right? They listen often to music in the afternoon. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Okay, and correct. I'm incor oh, sorry, correct or incorrect, Andres? Correct. No, incorrect. Correct. Okay, I have many comments. Correct. Okay, I have many incorrect. comments. Correct. Some of you say correct. Some of you incorrect. say incorrect. But give me a second. What is the verb? Listen. 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 What is the frequency of verb? The frequency advert goes before the verb. El adverbio de frecuencia va antes del verbo. Yes or no? No. Yes. No. Yes. Okay, I repeat. Listen, listen. Listen is the verb. Often is the frequency yeah. adverb, right? So the question is, the yeah, frequency right. adverb goes before the, the verb. El adverbio de frecuencia va antes del verbo, sí o no? Yes. yes or no? Antes, yes. yes. No, look. No. No, because here, often is the frequency of, right? Okay? Este es el adverbio de frecuencia. And then the verb, ¿cuál es el verbo? Yeah. Listen, right? Listen. Okay. ¿El adverbio de frecuencia está antes que el verbo, sí o no? El adverbio de frecuencia está antes del verbo, ¿sí o no? Sí. Antes no. del verbo. ¿El adverbio de frecuencia es antes? <ríe> no, güey. Verbo libre. Yo creo que, Richard, verbo. yo creo que, Cristi, yo estamos entendiendo que el often debería ir antes del list. Ok, very good. No, pero mi pregunta es, en esta oración, en esta oración, ¿El adverbio está antes o después del verbo? Ah, no, está después. Ah, ok, very good. So, ¿Correct o incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect, right? Hoy sí ya no pusimos de acuerdo. Ok. No, yes, you're right. El, la, la, como dijéramos, la información de la gramática es que siempre el adverbio va antes, ¿verdad? En forma general. Pero aquí, pues, se han equivocado. Now, number four. 
she goes sometimes to parties. Ooh, parties uh, on Friday. Correct or incorrect, class? Incorrect. 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 So the correct one is she sometimes something go. goes, right? She sometimes go, goes. So let's copy. Let's copy. Incorrect, right? Incorrect. Okay. Do you understand? Do you understand, class? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Nice. Nice. Let's continue with the next exercise, right? Okay. Number five. Oscar. Oscar Daniel Castillo. <laughs> Oscar and his wife. Oscar, give me a second here. Vamos a bajar el volumen. Yes. De los... Yes, right? <laughs> Very good, Oscar. Oscar and his wife go dancing always. Correct or incorrect, class? Incorrect. Incorrect. What is the correct sentence? Oscar and his wife go... Eh, perdón, perdón, perdón. Mm -hmm. Ya me confundí con los verbos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the very go. go. Bueno, ah, okay. creería yo que es Oscar and, he, his, and wife. his wife are go go dancing. Mm, okay. go dancing. Remember, remember something. Remember Oscar, that, that the frequency adverb, que el adverbio de frecuencia va antes del verbo. Yes? Why are okay. why? Again, Alec, again, Oscar. Oscar, right? Oscar me estaba participando. Bien, sí. Sí, okay, Oscar. Say, yes. Oscar and his wife. Repeat, Oscar. Oscar and his wife. Okay. Oscar and his wife. Uh huh. Oscar and his wife. Oscar and his wife. Always go yeah. dancing. Excellent. Also, always go dancing. Very good, right? Okay. okay. Oscar and his wife always go dancing, right? Because the frequency ever goes before the verse. So in other words, this sentence is incorrect, right? Now, next one. I sometimes take a nap after lunch. After me, 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 I take a nap, right? So, correct. Correct? Correct. Yes, is correct, right? Correct. Because the frequency ever sometimes goes before the verb taken, right? Okay, number seven. My friends play usually soccer on Sunday. Incorrect. Incorrect. Okay. Number six is correct. And number seven is incorrect. Right? I repeat, please. What is the correct sentence in number seven? My friends, my friend, usually, they usually, usually play soccer. soccer. Usually play soccer, right? Okie dokie. No lo sé, Rick. Creo que ya estamos entendiendo. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Number eight, right? We exercise in the morning always. Incorrect. Incorrect. Incorrect, right? Let's copy incorrect. Incorrect. Very good. So, what is the correct sentence? We always exercise in the morning. We always exercise in the morning. We always exercise, right? Good. Next one. Okay, good. 
Now, these are some activities that you do in your job, right? That you regularly do in the job. So, we are going to use these activities and you're going to say always, sometimes, never, rarely, often, etc., etc., right? But before to go to that, we're going to take the attendance. Vamos a tomar la asistencia otra vez. Sorry, it's nine o'clock. Carlos, excuse me, Carlos Josué. Cindy. Present. Thank you. Christy. Here, teacher. Thank you. Joshua. I'm sorry, Joshua, right now. Eh, Esaú. Present. Thank you. Elizabeth, no, right, sorry. And Jill. Thank you. Giovanni. Giovanni tenía problemas con internet, pero no sé si está conectado, ¿verdad? Present. Ah, oh, good. Thank you, Giovanni. Pero está de oyente, me dijo, ¿verdad? Así que no puede participar de momento. Sí. Ok, Beatriz. Present. Jennifer. Present. Jorge. Present. Thank you, Enrique. Ah, Enrique no. Eh, Eduardo. Present. Thank you. Alejandro. Oh, welcome. Uh, Manuel. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Mario. No, Mario. Andres. Hello, teacher. Present. Thank you, Andres. All good, ready, right? Okay, Oscar. Present. Victor. Yes, okay, thank you. Yes. Carlos Enrique. Carlos Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. And I have a message here. Eh, Victor, de, oh, estoy con otro, por eso no estoy. Okay, poquita señal le queda. Bien, uh, Victor, lo vamos a poner de oyente, Victor. Okay, thank you. Tranquilo. No le voy a preguntar para que se no se le acabe la energía. Good. Now, know the policies. Conocer las políticas de la empresa, right? Know the regulation. Conocer las regulaciones. That's what you do. Help workers too, right? Ayudar a los trabajadores. Help people. Help the company, etc., etc. So what you're going to do is... Uh, but I will start with this, right? Creo que vamos a comenzar con esta. Estas dos como que son solo de conocimiento. So vamos a dejarlas. Fuera. So help workers. Listen, I will make the sentence and then you can help me. So you says, I always help workers. I sometimes help workers. I never help workers. Okay? Now, using help people, I need uh, Cindy. Give me one example using frequency adverb, Cindy. Okay. Um, if you want, I will copy. Vamos a copiarlo para que quede constancia. Okay. Eh, sería I help worker. Ajá, uh -huh. but we miss something, right? Pero nos hace falta algo ahí en medio del sujeto y el verbo. ¿Qué es lo que le hace falta? Cindy. Mm, el verbo de frecuencia. Ajá, uh -huh. which one? ¿Cuál quiere usar? Eh, sometimes. Sometimes. I sometimes help workers, right? 
I sometimes help workers. Okay, very good. Now, help the company, right? Uh, Christy, please give me one example. I usually help help people. Help people. Uh, help people. Yes. Okay. Very good. Now let's continue with the just oral, right? Um, Esau, please help the company. Ya no lo vamos a escribir, hoy solo vámonos a orar. Ajá. Esaú. Ok. Eh, I always. I always. Hold the company. Thank you. Advertise the company. Promocionar, eh, publicitar la compañía. Ok. Eh, Jill, please. Can you help me, Jill? Ah, okay. I never designed software. It's a good example, right? Good. Thank you, Jill. And now, eh, Beatriz, please. Beatriz, advertise the company. Advertise the company. Publicitar la compañía. Advertise the company. So? I sometimes advertise the company. Okay, very good. Now, answer the phone. We finish with answer the phone, right? I and make phone calls. Just. So, answer the phone. This is for uh, Jennifer. Please, Jennifer. Yes, after the three, I have Jennifer, right? Uh huh, Jennifer. Answer the phone. Hello, people. Sorry. Um, I'm from the. Phone. I. My phone call. You. They. I. Uh -huh, I. I. You. Okay. I, I usually. Um, I sometimes. I never. I often. I often. I always. Uh huh. Okay, I always this one, right? The phone. I okay, I will copy. Don't worry. Vamos a ayudarle. Give me a second. Uh, I will copy here. I always, I always, and then he says, the answer is, answer the phone, right? Answer the phone. So, Jennifer? Me. I always? Okay, what is the verb? The verb is answer, right, Jennifer? So after always, what do we have? ¿Qué le ponemos después del always, Jennifer? Do you copy, Jennifer? Sí, sí, sí. Ah, okay, good, uh, excellent. I pon calls, pon okay. calls. Ah, ok, good. Entonces me, me va a hacer la de abajo. Entonces, make, right? So the verb is make. Very good. Thank you, Jennifer. I always make what? Jennifer, I always make? Yes, teacher. I always make? iPhone calls. Phone calls. Cult. Very oh, good. Cult. Phone calls. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. I always make phone call, right? Okay. 
Very good. Now we're going to make another one. Solo vamos a hacer otra más porque nos... Si no, nos va a robar mucho tiempo esta actividad, ¿verdad? Ok. Write reports, send reports, send emails, arrange meeting, arreglar oraciones o, o planear oraciones, ¿verdad? Right? Carry boxes, transportar, llevar cajas, carry products, keep track, llevar un récord, llevar un registro, keep track, repair computers, repair computers, ask for assistance, pedir ayuda, pedir asistencia, solicitar asistencia, ask for assistance, right? Okay, now, who's next in the list? Jorge, please. You can take any of these, right? Puede agarrar cualquiera de estos verbos, Jorge. No necesariamente en orden. Uh, no necesariamente en orden. Y que usted quiera agarrar, ¿sí? Are always for his boxes. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Jorge. Yes, it's perfect. I always carry boxes. Yes, it's nice. Thank eh, you. No, you. Thank you, Jorge. Enrique, no, no. Eduardo, please. Juan Eduardo. Give me one example. He... Mm -hmm. he? He never, he always, he sometimes... He, he sometimes repairs the computer. Okay, very good. He sometimes repairs... Because he, right? He sometimes he. repairs computers. Computers. Uy, uy, very good. Thank you. Next one. Eh, Alejandro, please. Luis Alejandro, help me. Luis Alejandro, give me one example. Uh, cualquiera, así como los del ejemplo anterior. Whatever. Yes, whatever. Cualquiera, cualquiera. Ahí. Okay. I I always always ask for assistance. My goodness, perfect. Perfect. I like it. I like your example, your example, sorry Alejandro. Okay, Manuel. I I sometimes send emails. Good, right? Clap for Dudley. Okay, thank you very much. Now you understand. Yo veo que casi todos ya entendimos muy bien cómo va la jugada. Okay, now. Eh, Alejandro Manuel, right? And Mario no está con nosotros hoy, Mario. Oh. So, Andrés, please, Oscar Andrés. One example, Andrés, and we finish with Oscar Andrés, right? I never repair computer. Oh, sorry for you that you don't repair computer. So, buddies, your sentence is cling. Totally good, right? It's totally yes. good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, we're going to make a conversation here. But before to go to the conversation, uh, we'll describe some activities you do in your house. Get up, get dressed, take a shower, blah, blah, blah. brush my teeth, comb my hair, shave. Well, this is for women, right? Put on the <laughs> put on the makeup, right? They make like this. <laughs> Eat breakfast, come home, make dinner, study, watch TV. And go to bed. So these are activities that you do every day at home. Do you have questions? Teacher. Yes, Andres. Eh, solo comentar, voy a apagar un momento la cámara, me voy a quedar de oyente unos cinco minutos, quizás por ahí. Puede okay. ser algo ahorita. Puede ser acá oyendo. Dele con todo. Okay. Provecho. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a comer la semita, va, y de no tranquilo. Ok. 
So get up, get dressed, take a shower. Any question about this? So listen, pay attention. I always get up at five. I sometimes get dressed every day. No, no, every day, no. In the morning, right? I always take a shower. I always brush my teeth. I sometimes comb my hair. Qué culpa tenemos los colochos, ¿vale? <laughs> I always shave. I never, never put on makeup. <laughs> Only for women, right? I always eat breakfast. That's it, right? So these are some examples we can make with daily routines. Also, we have free time routines. Free time routine. Exercise up and down. Up and down. Listen to music. Play football. Go out for dinner. Go dancing. Take a nap, read, check media, go to the movies, Mario, Luigi, the movie, right? Go to the movies and visit friends, okay? So these are free time activities. And then you can say, I sometimes exercise. I always listen to music. I sometimes play football. I never go out for dinner. I always go dancing, etc., etc., right? Good. Oh, this is not good, but it's necessary, right? Lavar los trastes, hacer la limpieza, sacar la basura, sacar al chucho. <laughs> Dust, sweep, that means uh, barrer, right? Sweep, mop, trapear. So these are household show routines. Okay? So you can say, for example, I always wash the dishes. I sometimes clean the house. I never do the laundry. I often take out the garbage. I always go shopping. I never do. I often sweep. Sweep. Like uh, and then I never mop. Mop is trapear, right? You know? Trapear. Okay? Good. These are some examples, right? Now let's go to the practice, right? We're going to discuss this, right? But I need your help. It's sort of teacher has estado hablando, okay? So you are going to help me to speak. Uh, Carlos Enrique, you make this question to, to Victor, please. Okay. Carlos, okay. Say, Victor. Hello, Victor. Say. Hey. Make the question. What time, mm -hmm. what time do you usually go to bed? Ah, uh -huh, Victor. What time do you usually go to bed? It's como a qué hora yo usualmente usual duerme descansa. Uh, yeah. You can say, I, I usually, see. I never, I sometimes, etc., etc., right? This is a personal question. I'm sorry. Uh, I every night yes, go to bed. But I know, uh, Carlos Enrique, but in this time, we're using frequency adverbs. So, uh, always, sometimes, rarely. Uh, uh, never, uh, uh. Ah, but, okay. no, no, but you can say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, Carlos Enrique, listen, it's correct. You can say, I always go to bed at nine o'clock or I go to bed at nine o'clock every day. 
So the, the two are correct. The two are correct, Carlo Enrique. But in this case, what I want is you help me okay. using the frequency, right? Okay. What mm -hmm. time do you usually go to bed? Hey. Victor? I will copy this. I usually yeah. go to bed. Mm -hmm. Tic tac, tic tac at twelve, right? Twelve. Mm -hmm. Twelve. So it's the boo, la hora del espanto, right? <laughs> uh, so Victor goes to bed at twelve. Ah, thank you very much. Now, Victor, you may take this question. Oops, vamos a borrarlo porque no se va a entender. Okay. Victor, you make the question to Oscar, please. What time do you usually get up in the morning? I usually get up at 6 a.m. in the morning. Excellent also. I like it. I like it. Okay, Oscar, you made the question to Andres. Okay, give me a second here. What do you usually have for breakfast? Uh huh. Andres, the question for you, Andres. Diez cuatro, Andres, Andres. Ya se, ya regresó. Que dijo que se iba a levantar, ¿verdad? Bueno, entonces vamos a hacer la pregunta a otro. Eh, Oscar, make the question to oh. Alejandro. No, 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 wait, wait a minute. Eh, tenemos a Manuel. Eh, ¿Sería correcto poner el nombre? Y no, you just read. No, 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 you just read. Solo léame la pregunta. Y... Mencióname, okay. a, mencióname a Manuel. Manuel, vamos a dejar a Manuel que se dé duro él, ¿ok? <ríe> ok. okay, okay. Eh, what, what do you usually have for breakfast. Ajá, Manuel. Eh, una pregunta, es verdad Ajá. que la pregunta quiere decir que suelo preparar o Cor hacer. No, no, no. Uh, o comer. Eat. Eat. Uh -huh. eat. Ok. Eh, Usually, pupusa. I, I, I usually, pupusa. I usually, pupusas, right? Okay, but listen to me. We miss the action, right? Nos, nos hace falta la, la acción, Manuel. Eh, sería, I usually have, pupusa. I usually have. <laughs> Excelentoso, me agrada la gente inteligente. Nice, thank you. I usually have pupusas. Yes, nice. Are you Salvadorian, Manuel? <laughs> of course, right? Good. Now make the question to Alejandro, please. This is the question. Give me a second. Okay. Ahorita le pongo la pregunta. Oops, se me fueron dos. Okay. Make the question, please. No. 
back to you about past. Uh -huh. What do you often have? What do you often have for lunch? Okay. The question mm. is for Alejandro, right? Okay. Uh, tengo que responder, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, of course. Okay, <laughs> okay sería... Uh, um, I I, I usually, usually uh -huh, okay, I usually I usually uh quiero ver take my lunch No, no, have my lunch. Or, okay, uh, have my lunch or no. Okay, but the question is what do you often have? ¿Qué es lo que frecuentemente comen en el almuerzo? Yes. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. <laughs> ah, no, no creo, aunque sea un sándwich ahí. <laughs> uh, ahí lo están fregando. Uh, ahí lo están fregando, Alejandro. Tu cuerpo dice eso de ti. Ay, el otro, baby. No, no, usted, Alejandro, usted dígale que dos pollos se come ahí. En el almuerzo. No, no, no. Por tu declaración. Ok. I usually have my lunch. I usually have. Subway. A subway. Sandwich. Ah, okay. Sandwich. Sandwich. I usually have a sandwich for lunch. Thank you, Alejandro. Now make this question to Eduardo, please. What do you usually watch on TV? What do you usually watch on TV? I usually... I I usually every what? night. Uh-huh. But I, I usually use, every night watch TV. But but the question is, ¿qué es lo que usualmente mira en la televisión? Right? What do you usually watch on TV? Ah, okay. So you say I usually watch I usually I usually watch the the my, sorry, sorry, sports. Sports. Mm -hmm. sports. Okay. TV shows. And TV shows. Okay. I I usually watch sports TV shows. Yes, correct. Nice. Okay, let me see who's next. Uh, so, uh, Eduardo, right? Eduardo, make the question to Jorge, please. Jorge, next question. Okay. Jorge, where do you something go shopping? I I usually always Sunday. No, only one. Usually or always. Solo uno. Un adverbio. I usually. I usually go shopping Sunday. On Sundays. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Me alegra. Okay. Y ahí terminamos. Vamos a hacer ahora esta otra. What kind of clothes? Yes, yes. What do you say I usually vitrinear on <laughs> nuestro centro? I, I often go uh, window shopping. Window shopping. Eso es vitrinear, ¿verdad? Window, eso no es window, escaparate. Window shopping. I, I always go window shopping. Solo voy a, a metidear allá. <laughs> Solo voy a ver cosas que quisiera comprar, pero no tengo el pisto para comprar. <laughs> so, <And> you... <laughs> yes. All <laughs> time. In my case, all time. <laughs> no, aunque sea un par de zapatos, más, que, más de alguna vez. Va. O sea, en el par dos, por lo menos. Ok, let's continue, right? Next one. What kind of clothes, qué tipo de ropas do you often wear? That's, ok. The question is uh, for 
Eduardo ya participó. Jorge. Sería Jorge to Jennifer, please. Jorge to Jennifer. Read the question, Jorge. Jennifer, what kind of classes do you of wear? Often I, I often wear dress okay. and pants. Nice. Very good. Uh, now, Jennifer, uh, you make the question to Beatriz. What kinds of clothes do you often wear? No, no, wear? no. How, how do you usually? How do you usually? How do you uh, usually go to work? Bus car? By bus? I usually by, go uh -huh. to work in a bus. I usually go to work by bus. By bus, right? By, by, bus. by Chuson. <laughs> by Chuson. Okay, nice. Now, please... Uh, uh, Beatriz, right? Beatriz, you make the question to Jill, to Jill. Okay. Se me fueron dos preguntas, pero usted hágale una aquí. <laughs> How do you sometimes practice English at home? Uh -huh. How many hours do you usually spend online? Ok, but first, one question. Vamos primero a la pregunta uno. Right? How do you sometimes practicing? Vamos a bajar un poquito el micrófono porque... Vale, ok, muy bien, aquí estamos. So, Beatriz to Jill, right? Beatriz, you make only one question. Practice English, right? How do you sometimes practice English at home? Cinco más. How many hours do you usually no, no. spend online? No, no, no. Ok, wait a minute. Paremos un ratito ahí. Ok. Es que se me fueron dos preguntas. Okay. Solo, solo vamos a hacer una. Solo. Ok. How do you sometimes practice English? No, no Jim. Huele como. Es que allí le, okay. está, le están dando copia ahí, ¿verdad? Una princesa creo que le está dando copia ahí. ¿O un príncipe? Sí. Ok. Es una princesa. Es una princesa, ok. Ajá. How do you sometimes practice English at home, Jill? I practice... I practice sometimes. I sometimes... I sometimes... I sometimes... Sometimes. Uh -huh. Practice. Practice English every day. No, no, no. But, but, but you don't have to say every day, right? Como ya me usó sometimes, mm -hmm. ya no podemos usar every day. Ya no. Entonces solo sería, okay. I, I sometimes practice sure. English. Sure. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> no, don't worry. No, no, no. Escribámoslo si quieres. Tranquila, no, es que esto no es, no es fácil. No crean que esto es fácil, está difícil, ¿verdad? Ok, I sometimes, I sometimes practice English. Ajá, English. At home. At home, ok, very good. At home. Aunque, aunque la pregunta me gusta. es, <ríe> bien linda la voz, ¿verdad? Ok, pero la pregunta es, uh, ¿cómo practica, verdad? So, en este caso vamos a poner, I sometimes practice English by reading. O, oh, I sometimes practice English by watching eh, videos. Yo no eh, practico inglés by watching
No estamos aprendiendo toda la rutina. ¿no? I ya sometimes practice like English by watching. <ríe> by watching. Claro, by, watch, I, by watching movies. Movies, okay, yes. Yeah. Yo practico ah. inglés viendo películas. Okay. En inglés, por supuesto. Viendo películas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. <ríe> Now, let me see. Jill, you make the next question. Esta pregunta me la va a hacer a, a Esaú. Ok. How many hours? Ok. How many hours do you usually spend online? Uh -huh. Excellent. Esaú. Eh, solo que es spend. A gastar o usar. ¿Cuántas horas dedica? A estar en su celular mandando WhatsApp o viendo el Facebook. <risa> ah, ok. O en TikTok. <risa> TikTok. <risa> I usually spend online eight, eight hours. Eight hours. <risa> ok, very It good. It work. Ah, What's up? What's up, mate? It work. En more activity. <laughs> And you never work, is there, right? ni, ni almorzar va por estar con el celular. <laughs> ok. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Yesabu. Now, make the question to eh, Christy, please. Christy, oh, right? Ok, give me a second here. Ok, that is the question. To Cristina. Do you sometimes? No, no, no. Es auto Cristina. Es auto Cristina. Ah. What do you sometimes do on weekends? Mm -hmm. Christy? I sometimes on weekends. How do you say weekends in Spanish? Fin de semana. Fin de semana. What do you sometimes do on weekends? ¿Qué es lo que algunas veces hace el fin de semana? That is the question, right? Ajá, Chris. Uh, as, as sometimes. Ajá. Uh -huh. I sometimes. On weekends. No, but the action, I sometimes eat, I sometimes play, I sometimes run, I sometimes uh, drive. I sometimes... I sometimes play, I sometimes sleep, I sometimes read books, I sometimes eat pupusas. I sometimes uh, ejercicio. Okay, <laughs> I, I sometimes exercise. Repeat. Sometimes exercise. Good. Nice, Christy. Now, let's make the, the next question to, to Cindy, right? How often do you exercise? Exercise. Cindy? Oh. I often, okay. I often, I often. I, I often the exercise. I often exercise, um, right? Sí, yes. Okay, only. I often exercise, often. Okay. No lo sé, Rick. Ah, no, no, sí es cierto, sí. Hace ejercicio, ¿verdad? Ok, very good. Vamos a ver si tenemos otra más. Ok. Um, creo que vamos a pasar al siguiente mejor, right? Ok, let's go to this, right? ¿Cómo vamos con el tiempo? Uh, ya solo nos quedan 20 minutos. Ok, anyway. So, let's read this. Look. The verbs that are pronounced with S, it's writes, barks, speaks, right? The verb, excuse me, that are pronounced with Z, 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 z reads, jogs, calls, cleans, right? The verbs that are pronounced with E's, watches, 
watches, dances, fixes, right? Okay, so these are the actions. And then we have the frequency of it. Look, always, usually, sometimes, rarely, never, right? And here the percentage, 100%, 90%, 50%, 10%, and 0%, right? Now we have the conversation. Look, does Carmen usually study in her room? Carmen usualmente... Por cierto, todavía anda buscando la, la cadenita, ¿verdad? Pero, bueno. Does Carmen usually study in her room? Vamos a ver el dibujito acá. Y ahí está Carmen. Ok, entonces, ¿está en su cuarto? Pero sí en la cadena. No está en su cuarto, right? So we say, no. She rarely studies in her room. She usually studies in the library, que es la biblioteca, right? Okay? Good. So we are going to create three conversations. Vamos a hacer tres conversaciones. Okay? And I will ask, vamos a ver a quién le pedimos ayuda. Eh, Carlos Enrique. Carlos Enrique and Andres, right? Okay? But before to go to Carlos Enrique and Andres, Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Does Carmen usually study in her room? Does Carmen usually study in the in her room? No. No. She rarely she studies in her room. She rarely studies in her room. No, she rarely studies in her room. She usually studies in the library. In the library. Good. Vamos a ver el dibujito, entonces. Aquí tenemos, bueno, no sé quién es Carmen. Creo que es la de verde. Entonces, ¿Carmen estudia en su cuarto? No. Raramente estudia en su cuarto. Ella usualmente estudia en dónde? En la biblioteca, la library. ¿Ok? Ahora vamos soy, a... Soy, soy. Vamos a tratar de armar esta, esta conversación. Carlos Enrique, usted y Andrés me van a armar esta conversación, ¿sí? Okay. Vale. Van a usar este modelo y la información que tiene aquí de, de Linda. ¿Ok? Ahí está Linda en la cafetería, ¿ve? ¿Sí? Vale. Solo regálenme un segundito, voy a traer un poquito de agua. Rapidito. En lo que ustedes piensan la, la conversación, ¿sí? Este es el modelo y esta es la conversación que me van a hacer con, con Linda, ya no con Carmen, sino con Linda, ¿ok? Give me a second. Okay, ready? Now, Andres, you make the question, Andres. Okay? And Enrique make the answer, right? Okay. Vamos. Do uh, is Linda usually at lunch in her office? Then, uh, mm -hmm. No. Carlos Enrico, ajá. No. Surely eat her coffee. No, no, no. Okay, she well. she... No, no, she rarely, she rarely, she eat, rarely eat lunch, uh -huh. eats eat lunch, eat lunch uh -huh. in her office. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Give me a second, right? No. Ah, yes, yes, Andrés. Uh -huh. sí. Ajá, it's true, yes. Sí, es Andrés uh -huh. tiene razón, perdón. Ajá, porque primero la oficina y después la, la, la cafetería, right? Ok, vamos, Enrique. Entonces, no. She rarely. No. 
शिव बैटरी एट लॉन्च इन हेर ऑफ हेर ऑफ इट ग और अब मारा से गुंदा सी सी यूजुअली एट लॉन्च इन द रेस्टोरेंट नो इन द कैफेटेरिया राइट Okay, very good. Again, right, Andres? Repeat again, <laughs> again. Okay. Quatro. The same, uh, the quatro. same. La misma, pero ahora vamos a hacerlo más fluido. Okay, come on. Okay. Dos, Linda. Usually, it launch in her office. Like a question, Andres. Vamos a hacerlo como pregunta. Ready? Does Linda usually okay. launch in her office? Does oh, Linda sure. usually... Sí, o... Yes, sí, yes. Okay. Does Linda usually at launch in office? No. No, wait, no, wait, wait. Sure Carlos right, Enrique. No. Andres, give me a no. second. Okay. Only, uh, only sorry, Carlos Enrique. Okay. No. No. She already ate lunch in her office. She usually eat lunch in the ca cafeteria. Okay. Nice. Congratulations, right? So Dudley is helping, right? Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Now, now I will have. Let me see. Ah, Manuel in a quien a Beatriz, right? Jennifer Beatriz. Henry usually was his car, right? Okay. Now, eh, let me see. The question is going to be for. For Manuel, right, Manuel? And the answer is for Beatriz, right? Okay. Let's do it. No. He rarely washes his car on Sunday. He usually washes his car on Saturday. My goodness. Perfect. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Very good. Nice. Okay, let me see. Uh, Jill, you make the question. And Cindy. Cindy, you make the answer, right? Okay? Okay. With Alan. Uh, the last name of Alan okay. is Brito. El apellido de Alan es Brito. <laughs> yes. Alan sí. Brito. Este, él, Alan Brito. Ajá, él, es familiar, él es familiar de una muchacha que se llama El Balazo Mata. Yes. Ok. Now. Okay. Re ¿Ready? Does Alan always watch? Oh. Ready. Does Alan always watch the news after dinner? Cindy? Oh, creo que me le está fallando el internet. Hola. Cindy. Cindy, copy. Me le está fallando el internet. Hola, Cindy. Escucho cortado. Cindy. Hola. Eh, le escucho. Hola. Sí, le escucho, Cindy. Hola. No me escucha usted a mí. Uno, uno, dos, tres. Cindy, Cindy. Hola. Hola. Sí, no, no nos escucha, creo. Le voy a mandar un mensaje, permítame, le voy a mandar un mensaje. Eh, ¿Nos escucha? ¿Nos escucha, Cindy? Creo que no nos está escuchando. Cindy, hello, one, two, three, one, two, three. 
Ok, me va a ayudar entonces alguien más. Vamos a ver. Eh, let me see. Ah, ahí está. Ok. Se voy un poco cortado, dice. Se voy un poco cortado, entonces... Eh, vamos a pedirle a alguien más que nos ayude. Bueno, Jill ya nos hizo la pregunta. ¿Y a quién le decimos que nos ayude? Vamos a ver. Tenemos a Alejandro, right? Alejandro, can you help me? Ok. Eh, ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Perdón. <risa> okay. ok. Jill, repeat the question, Jill. Ok. Does Alan always watch the new after dinner? Does Alan always watch the new after dinner? Sería el último ejemplo. Yes, okay. Um, okay, mm -hmm. sería. No. Mm, no. No, he. Rally. He never? Uh, he never? Ah, te lo doy. Okay. No, he never uh, watch the news after dinner. He, he always. He never. No, no, wait, wait a minute, okay. Does Alan always watch the news after dinner? No. He never watches the news after dinner. Uh -huh. He always watch. Él siempre mira y al final, ¿qué dice? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, he always watch game shows after okay. dinner. Good, excellent. Excellent, right? Very Bien good. Entendido. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, it's difficult. Está un poco difícil, está un poco complicado, ¿verdad? Pero eh, vamos a ver si no alcanza el tiempo para uno más. Ok, vamos a hacer de Firulais. Yes? <clears throat> good. Eh, let me see. Vamos a ver quién, quién me va a ayudar. Este... Beatriz ya me participó. Jorge. Jorge casi no nos ha participado, ¿verdad? Y, pues, ¿quién me ayuda con la pregunta? Carlos Enrique, dame la pregunta a Jorge, ¿ok? Le vamos a ayudar con el, la conversación del chuchito. <ríe> de Firulais, ¿yes? Ok, Carlos Enrique. And ¿Ready, Jorge? ¿Are you ready, Jorge? Ok, good, good. Ya, está, ya estamos listos, Carlos Enrique. Does your neighbor dog always bark during the day? ¿Esa? Yes. Bark is wow, wow. No. No. No, no never. No. Never never work bark in the night. During the day. During the day. Uh -huh. During the day. Uh, Jorge, during the day. During the day. He, uh, digamos que el chuchito es un he, ¿verdad? No he, le pongamos it, sino que he. He never. He always. He, he always. He always back. Never at night. No, at, at night. He always barks at night. Repeat, Jorge. He always bar never at night. No, never, no. Omit. No, omit. never, uh -huh. no. Okay, now. The, he always. Always bar during day. At, at no, at night, night at night. Yeah, okay. During day. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver, Jorge. La pregunta. He always. Es, okay, bar. la pregunta es, Jorge, permítame. Eh, la pregunta es si el perrito, si el chuchito ladra durante el día, ¿sí? Esa es la pregunta. ¿Ladra el perrito de tu vecino durante el día? Entonces le dice, 
no. He never starts on the day. Nunca ladra en el día. Mire, él nunca ladra en el día. <ríe> él en la noche pone ladrado a despertar a todo el mundo. <ríe> ¿Sí el me perro entiendes? del vecino. <ríe> el perro del vecino. ¿eh? Aquí tenemos sí, una perra. He always at night. Ahí está. <ríe> very good. Siempre se pone ladrado en la noche, ¿verdad? Ok, very good. Está un poco difícil este ejercicio, pero al final lo hicimos, ¿verdad? Eh, any question, class? Solo voy a eh, mostrarles un material en cinco minutitos y terminamos la clase. Ok, thank you very much. Let's go to this material. Por aquí estamos. Ok, listen to the audio, please. Pay attention. Here we have Sara. And Kumiko talking, right? Listen. Page 61, exercise 6, conversation. Fish for breakfast? Listen and practice. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Again. Page 61, Exercise 6, Conversation. Fish for breakfast? Listen and practice. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Good. Notice the expression my family always has we usually have we always have and i never eat so these words are what we call frequency adverb right and remember the frequency adverb goes before the verb no se le olvide que siempre va antes del verbo okay before the verb right good um Cuando hagan el ejercicio en, el, en la plataforma, no se les olvide eso, ¿ok? Good. Now, we're going to check another material. Good. Esto es lo último que vamos a ver. Antes de, de escuchar este audio, pues voy a ponerme de acuerdo en... Eh, con el... Compañerito que se va a quedar conmigo esta noche los 10 minutos. Eh, tengo de candidatos a Giovanni, está por acá. Ya es, teacher. Ya es, Giovanni. ¿Podría quedarse conmigo 10 minutos después de la clase? No, no problem. No problem. Ok, excelentoso. Permítame, lo vamos a agendar, Giovanni. A Giovanni casi no le he dado participación, ¿verdad, Giovanni? No, pero estoy bien así, teacher, es que de <risas> verdad tengo, tengo un mes de estar con problemas de salud y me está afectando bastante. Entonces, ah, ok, ah, pero no, no hay problema si se queda conmigo diez minutitos. No, no, no. No, no, no vale, ok, muy bien, muy bien. Thank you, Giovanni. Eh, cuando usted quiera participar, pues solo me dice, si no, pues ahí lo vamos a dejar de... De oyente, Giovanni. No se preocupe. Ahí estamos. Ok. Listen to the audio. Page 61, exercise 7. Grammar focus. Adverbs of frequency. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. 
Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Thank you. So, always is all the time. Usually is like 90%, 80%. Often is like 60%. Sometimes like 50%, 40%. Hardly ever is casi nunca. Hardly ever. Like 10%, right? And never is 0%. Okay? And remember, the frequency adverb goes before the verb. El adverbio frecuencia va antes del verbo. Okay? Thank you very much. Now, attendance and a mimir. <laughs> Solo me quedaría con Giovanni, ¿ok? Now, eh, Carlos. No, ¿verdad, Cindy? Cindy? Ok, Cristi? Good night, teacher. Good night. Have a good night. Eh, Saúl? Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you. Jill? Good night, teacher. Good night. Giovanni, pues que está de oyentes. Ya le tomó la asistencia. Giovanni, Beatriz? Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you. Jennifer Guadalupe? Good night, teacher. Bye, bye. Jorge? Good night, teacher. Good night. Eh, Juan Eduardo? Bye, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Alejandro? Luis Alejandro? Good night, teacher. Good night. Manuel? Good night, teacher. Good night. Mario? No, Mario no estuvo ahora, ¿verdad? Eh, Andrés? Good night, teacher. Good night. Oscar, Daniel? Good Oscar? Night. Thank you. Good night. God bless you. Victor? Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you. And Carlos Enrique. Good night, friends. Good See night. you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, right? <laughs> okay, bye -bye. thank you. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Okay, Giovanni. Any question? Tiene alguna pregunta del tema de ahora? The microphone. Giovanni, the microphone. Sí. Okay. <laughs> no, dijo que la frecuencia siempre va antes del verbo. Ajá, ¿eh? uh -huh. yes. Okay. Y que no solo los adverbios de frecuencia sirven para de indicar frecuencia, sino que hay otras expresiones que van al final, uh -huh. como every day, every Sunday, etcétera, etcétera, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Ese es solo lo que se refiere a, a verbios de ah. frecuencia y recuérdese ah. que normalmente los usamos para el presente simple se puede usar en el pasado también pero normalmente es el presente simple ¿sí? Ah. ok ¿alguna otra pregunta okay. más? perfecto <ríe> ¿cómo ha entendido el presente simple? Giovanni ¿entiende lo que es el sujeto, el verbo? cuando le agregamos la S al verbo y todo eso que hemos estado viendo? Sí, prácticamente creo que eran mis dudas, que las dudas con las cuales me quedé en el primer módulo. Ah, en okay. qué momento agregar la, la S, pero ya con lo que he estado explicando, pues tengo más claridad. Sí. Yo creo que a veces se nos va porque no lo practicamos, pero sí, ya, ya tengo más, más la idea y esa ah, es claro. como... El objetivo, ajá, el objetivo de ir conociendo poco a poco. Ya en el nivel 3 ya le va a quedar más claro todavía. <risa> Espero okay. que sí. Sí, vaya, pero ah. básicamente es eh, cómo se desarrolla la conversación, ¿verdad? Es primera persona uh -huh. el que habla. Uh -huh. Segunda persona es el que le escucha. Y la tercera persona es de quien hablamos. Ahora, la S uh -huh. dijimos que se le agrega cuando es tercera persona singular. Solo Exactamente. Uno. Y si en it, o digamos, cuando hablo de mi hermano, de mi hermana, de mi tío, de mi vecino, 
de mi compañero de trabajo, okay. etcétera, etcétera, ¿verdad? Y ya sabe las reglas. Okay. Solo se le agrega la S, si termina en S, H, SH, X, O, O, se le agrega E, S. Y si termina en la Y, se cambia la Y por I latina y luego le agregamos S. Eso sería todo. Uh -huh. Vaya, y otro tema okay. que, que tenga alguna duda, Giovanni. Uh, quiero ver. No, de, de momento no, es que no he estado muy conectado a veces ya, porque sí. como le, le comenté. Ha estado mal de salud. Eh, estoy teniendo problemas de salud. Sí, estoy teniendo problemas de salud bien fuerte. Sí, mucho. Y sí estoy con medicamento, pero eso como que me está afectando también, porque, por ejemplo, anoche me conecté, escuché un momento perfectamente, pero después no aguanté, entonces. Sí, me, me, puso mes, otro medio escuchando. Me, me puso un mensaje, ¿va? que me dijo que no, no aguantaba y que mejor se iba a retirar, sí. Exactamente. Sí, lo, lo siento muchísimo, la verdad es que. Miren que nos ha caído de todo el grupo, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. yo pues el módulo uno lo llevé con todo el entusiasmo y pues estuve pendiente, pero ya luego se pues, me ha dificultado todo y entonces aún con el trabajo estoy atrasándome bastante en algunas cosas. ¿Y en la plataforma? Pero... ¿Ha trabajado en la plataforma, Joan? Sí, solo sí, tengo vale. una duda, este, porque en, en uno de los videos, pues, está la clase completa, uh -huh. y yo la escuché, pero no me tira ahí el, el checklist, que ya haya pasado. Sin embargo, todas las tareas de, de esa parte ya las terminé. Ah, vaya, es que vaya, fíjense que cuando escucha, usted ve el video, perdón, solo le aparece ahí que ya lo vio, eh, en una esquina hay un, como le dijéramos, se lo voy a poner mejor, déjeme ver, okay. pero so, solo déjeme un ratito que a veces el internet no me deja, bueno, la plataforma en sí, ¿verdad? No abre tan rápido, solo, digamos, no, pero a esta hora está volando el internet, porque <ríe> ya es bien tarde, detalles del curso aquí estamos abriéndolo y plataforma, ahorita le pongo la plataforma ahí está abriendo ya le voy a compartir mi mi pantalla en todo lo que carga ahí está cargando ya ahí está mi pantalla ¿ve? Es que a veces cuesta que cargue un poquito la, la, la plataforma. Vaya, bueno, pero eh, normalmente el, el, el sistema es así, ¿verdad? Eh, uh -huh. Tenemos la clase esta noche y al día siguiente se sube el video. El video es como un apoyo para que usted entienda el tema de que se ha visto en ese día. Uh -huh. Exactamente. No, y está genial, la verdad. Ah, ¿le, pare le, le parece bien el sistema? <risa> Sí, 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 a mí me parece. Y una de las cosas que me llega de la plataforma es eso, que pues uno tiene la oportunidad de hacer los diferentes intentos que necesite para no quedar mal en la nota. Entonces, eso es súper bueno, porque creo que en, en varias ocasiones uno tiende a equivocarse. Y sí. si fuera una sola oportunidad, no lo pasamos. Sí, correcto. <risa> Vaya, mire, aquí dice marcar esta página. Entonces, cuando usted ya ha hecho algo, si quiere que quede marcado en su plataforma, solo le da aquí uh -huh. clic, mire. Ah, ok. Y ya okay. le aparece, okay. mire, aquí aparece. Ajá. Igual la cabe, ¿ve? Marcar esta página. Si usted quiere que ya aparezca, aquí está el video, pero no me, no me lo corre ahorita. Ya, ya uh -huh. va a aparecer. Ahí está, ya apareció. Entonces usted dice, ah, yo ya vi el video. ¿Y cómo les compruebo a ellos que yo vi el video? Ah, entonces voy a marcar esta página. Y ya queda marcada. Ah, ¿no? ok. Sí, a mí justo un, creo que el segundo video, el que no me marca. De ahí todo lo demás y ya sí. está marcado. Porque ya, ya trabajé la primera parte. Uh -huh. Y 
primero Dios este fin, trabajo lo, lo demás, porque a mí sí me gusta lo de la plataforma, me parece muy interactivo, a mí me gusta. Sí, aunque usted tiene Uh 10, Giovanni. A usted me -huh. Sí, aparece pero que son 10. Uh -huh. Así que no hay problema. Ahí Ah, ok. todas las tareas aquí las hizo, ve ya. Sí, Ahí sí, nos... sí. sí, así que lo único, como usted me dice, que quería que, que ellos se dieran cuenta que usted está viendo los videos. Entonces, solo marca. Exactamente. Solo Vaya. marca. Aunque eso no es evaluado. Perfecto. <ríe> lo importante. Sí, no, yo sé. Ajá. Pero igual, o sea, ahí cada quien lleva su trabajo personal, ¿no? Así es. Y usted decide cómo hacerlo y si necesita que irlo marcando, no hay problema. Ahí está, la plataforma se lo ofrece. Ok. Vale. Antes de terminar, pues mi consejo de siempre, eh, vea películas en inglés, ¿verdad? De muñequitos. <risa> Si le queda tiempo, ¿verdad? No necesariamente verla de un solo, sino que por partes puede irla viendo, ¿sí? Cabal. Y... No, yo lo que lo que hago es un poquito cuando puedo interactuar con Duolingo, Ah, oh, ok, está a escuchar música inglés Música. para bueno, aprender un poquito la pronunciación, porque a mí me cuesta mucho, pero ahí vamos. Y mire, Giovanni, yo subí unos sitios en internet ahí. Usted los copió. Por ejemplo, había uno que se llamaba Agenda Web. Súper magnífico. Ah, sí, sí. Sí, lo copié. Ah, bueno, entonces, esos sitios yo los uso siempre. Pues son buenísimos. Ok. Ok. Así que, ¿verdad? Ahí le recomiendo que, que se refuerce. Oiga, y también los videos que mando al grupo de WhatsApp. Uh -huh, perfecto. Que lo vaya viendo para... ¿Verdad? Y espero que sea mejor de salud. Y ya puede estar con nosotros Primero Dios al que sí. 100%, ¿verdad? Eh, si gusta mañana, Y primero Dios que la otra semana. mándame el mensaje. Solo póngame, teacher, voy a estar de oyente. Y yo ya voy a entender. Pero si usted Ok, me dice, perfecto. si usted me dice en el chat, teacher, hoy voy a participar, entonces ahí, ahí usted Perfecto. lo dice, ¿verdad? Porque la salud es lo primero. Perfecto. Claro, <risa> claro. ok, Muy Giovanni. bien. Ya, le agradezco. No, no, a sus órdenes. Ahí estamos en el WhatsApp también. Cualquier duda, solo dígame, oiga. Perfecto. Have a good Gracias, night. sí. God bless Good you. night. God bless you.